when you were named COO, and I, I, of course, am very interested and read the press release. I saw Proper Soccer Club, and I wasn't sure what it meant, but I was listening uh, to a UK-based radio station, and they were talking about Proper Soccer Club, and their definition was, in the premiership, everything is about branding and corporate boxes and business plan, business models, whereas the championship, they defined Proper Soccer Club as real soccer team for the real fans, with all the corporate business model branding, not even a discussion. That's what you're talking about, getting back to the roots of the passionate fans? Absolutely. You know, it's what are our core values? And our core values are, are going, first and foremost, is are we setting up a culture that people can be passionate about? And, and care about and want to sing and dance for 90 minutes and, and drive our players forward. Um, there are other things that certainly that go into that. Um, but for me, the, at the end of the day, it's, it's really about that stadium experience. Everything that happens at the stadium, and most supporters don't care about the value of the kit manufacturing deal or the whatever sponsors on the jersey. It's important, obviously, and I don't mean to diminish it, but really, we ha our core values have to be about that in-game experience, whether it's quality of play or you know, just enjoying being in the stadium. So how do you do that, replicate it again, for the New York Cosmos on Long Island? Because it, it's great to hear you talk about it, because that's what all the big boys did, and I was lucky enough to be there along for the ride. That's what we did when the Cosmos started at Hofstra. And, and started with 500 fans and ended up with 70,000 fans. We were out there in the community, doing clinics, making appearances. How do you plan on doing it now? I think you guys gave us a great roadmap. Uh, certainly Long Island, where you know, Hofstra is based, is going to be a, a great foundation for us. Uh, the Long Island Junior Soccer League, for example, I believe is the largest uh, organization, youth soccer organization in the entire country they're right there in our backyard. So we, we need to develop relationships with organi organizations like that. Certainly how the Cosmos started in the very beginning. So there's, there's a lot of passion for the sport there and it's just being authentic to the relationship. You know, no lip service. If we're, it, we're gonna be there and support the community, if we make a mistake, we're gonna stand up and say we made a mistake. Uh, we're gonna own any mistakes we make, um, but we're also going to support. So our first, my first comment when I met the Borough Boys, for example, was not what can you do for us? What can I do for you? How can I help you deliver what you guys really desperately want? And that's a club to support. And that's always going to be our message. And, and like I said, we just follow the path that you guys laid for us. It's such a, a great privilege and, and certainly very unique to have silverware like this. Um, but also be a, a, a startup at the same time. Um, so with, with great former players like yourself and Pele and, and hopefully we, we can bring Bogey back in the family, everybody that's still here in the market, um, you know, just tapping into that resource, whether it's you know, going to matches or just hearing about good stories and, and ideas that worked. Uh, we're always gonna have an eye on the history and we're always gonna have an eye on the future. Eric, I'm personally thrilled to spend the time with you today. What's your message to the New York Cosmo fans? Uh, you know, we've talked about it a lot. We're going to build a proper soccer club here with the Cosmos, one that will honor the history of the organization. And as always, we're, we have a very optimistic future. Um, we expect to get back to that, that level that everybody talks about with sold out stadiums and great players. And, we're eager to get started with the foundation of that right now. We'll always be transparent. We will always talk about the decisions we've taken and why. Uh, and hopefully you'll see a lot of little videos like this. We'll bring you back in the office and you know, we'll talk to former players, Cosmos girls, former front office. I think what everybody really loves is those old stories and, and we wanna relive that and, and again, honor it. And um, you know, our, our future is very bright.